So Winter's Day is here. I said I was going to do some videos on it, so I will. Even if I'm not going to enjoy it one bit. So to start off, I'll be going over what Winter's Day has to offer, and explaining some of my problems that I have which, with each of the events within this holiday. The costume bras returned with snowmen and the like, but don't expect to see too many people using it this time, since there is also a new snowball fight feature, which is incompatible with the costume brawl, and there are no easy ways to get costumes other than tonics. We also have a bunch of magic snow piles around Tyria, which can be used to build snowmen, similar to how there were pumpkins to make jack-o'-lanterns into Halloween event, except this time in providing a title of their own, they count towards the main achievement to get the Apprentice Toy Maker title. This time there are a bunch of presents scattered around the map that once you open them, a bunch of mobs will pop out, either Skrit or one of the toys from the Ticks event. And you will also find presents that contain presents, so you have presents within presents within presents. This is a little confusing now. So the cash shop, what do we have in it this time? Well, we have the fancy winter outfit, which is similar to the Mad King's outfit from the Halloween event. It also has a scepter with four costume brawl abilities, though they are a little lackluster, and I can't really say that they're worth the price. But if you think the outfit looks cool, you might as well give it a shot. There's also a festive hat, a pair of earmuffs that are rather cheap, and a free wizard's out hat that cannot be dyed for whatever reason. I don't know why. And then one thing they fixed from the Halloween event is, instead of having a bunch of RNG or extremely hard to get weapon skins that, through crafting, you can now just buy the holiday weapon skins from the cash shop. They might be a little expensive and ugly, especially if you don't like gingerbread, but they're there nonetheless. And then if we move over to consumables, we have the mystery gamble box that I do not support at all. You will not see me buying one of these ever. Similar to Halloween, we, you can also buy some minis, one for every day of the five days that Tix changes cities. It's a little annoying that you can't buy them all as a pack. Maybe we'll be able to do that at the end of the event. Who knows? Moving on to the vendors, what you can buy various items with the currency you have gained from opening presents with your ugly socks, your ugly sweaters, and ugly hats. There are another group of weapon skins that you can buy that aren't cash shop, which are rather nice. There, especially this bell and a slingshot. I kid you not, a slingshot. This might be the coolest skin I have ever seen in a video game. If I had a character who could use a bow, I would have a slingshot right now. Oh my god. Let's see, you can also buy a package of snowballs. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but you can. And just like last time, you can reinvest the currency you have earned to purchase gifts once again so to, for another chance to get the rare items of your choice. So there are three big activities to do during Winter's Day. If you head to the Mystic Forge in Lion's Arch, you will find a festive Lion Guard who will take you to the Snowball Mayhem event, PvP event. You will find a festive youth who will take you to the Winter's Day Wonderland jumping puzzle. And you will find the Bell Maestro who will take you to the Bell Choir. Starting off with Snowball Mayhem, this event is basically a capture the flag game with three separate classes, a scout, a heavy gunner, and a supporter. In this game, a present will spawn in the middle of the map, and both teams have to get to the center and grab the flag, or the present, and then return it to their own base to score points. Whoever reaches 500 points first, wins. This game also has achievements tied to it for capturing presents and killing those who have presents, and I think the problem with this is it encourages little teamwork as your entire team will usually rush for the present and nobody really tries to protect each other since if one guy goes down the other guy can pick up the present and just go and score with it.
The bell choir is actually pretty interesting. You get a stage with three spots for players to play a lower harmony, a melody, and an upper harmony. All of the songs are Guild Wars music that's been adapted for the choir bells and they play in a Guitar Hero fashion. And the songs are a little short, but I guess that's a little understandable. At the end of all of the songs, you get one minute of free mode, which is nice, but considering you're stuck on your one octave, you can't play all of the songs you'd really want to play unless you can coordinate with the people around you, which can be difficult since people try to take slots pretty fast. There's also two different choir bells that you can acquire outside of this event to play the music. One of them is a consumable and the other is unbreakable, but is really hard to get considering you can only get it out of giant presents, and I've also heard you can get out of personalized presents, but I haven't seen any confirmation of that, so I don't know how trustworthy that information is. So Tix's workshop. I had footage for the first two days of this, but then I deleted it, because it was boring. Let me give you a rundown of how the instance worked. The first day, and then the second day, and the third day. Day one. You arrive, and you have to fix some of the machines. Okay, cool, nice start. And then you have to kill Skrit, because they infiltrated the workshop. Okay, I don't know why Skrit, but sure. Then you have to help out the Ventari toys by feeding them and destroying the malfunctioning turrets they summoned. And then you fight Tox at the end of it. She's a decent boss. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but it was kind of boring. So then we go to day two. You fight the Skrit. You help the Ventari toys. Except now you also helped Princess Doll toys. And then you fight Tox again. So you basically did the same thing, except you added one little bit. Day three. We help the Ventari toys, we help the Princess Dolls, we fight the Char Soldier toys at the very end of it, and then we fight Tox a third time, and this time she has a shield on her. It, or it. It. Do you see a pattern here? It's not really changing. It's been the same basically every day, and it's just getting longer and more frustrating. So yeah, I clearly don't think the event's very good. That's my opinion. So you're free to disagree. Most people just seem to want to get the rewards at the end of it anyway. And what are the rewards, you ask? Well, the rewards are minis. Five for every city that the airship will travel to. Day one at the Grove, you got a Ventari toy frame. Day two at Divinity's Reach, we got a Princess Dolls frame. And then today, we got at um, the Black Citadel, we got a, toy, a Char Toy Soldier frame. And the thing is, with these, you also get parts to help build them. You need 250 stuffing, 250 glue, and then 250 little gears. And the frame, you put them into the Mystic Forge, you get your toy. Except the thing is, each day you can only get one of the glue, or 250 glue, or 250 uh, stuffing. You can only get one or the other. And then you also get your frame and 100 gears. And if so if you add all five days together, you'll only be able to get two of the toys instead of all five. Which has angered a few of the people who collect the toys. I personally don't collect minis. I don't think they're that interesting. They're kind of like vanity pets and wow. But uh, yeah, I was like, I'm going to get the princess doll toy because, well... When I encountered them while hunting for presents, they kicked my ass. Holy crap, talk about overpowered. Uh, but that's besides the point. You know, for collectors, this is a real issue. I've stayed out of which side I'm on mostly because there's also four other minis apparently that you can get from uh, the mystery boxes, which again, I don't touch because it's basically gambling. Not a fan of that. And it's... Well, disappointing, kind of. Since they did so well, they the weapon skins they f were better since you didn't have to deal with them. And, but then they screwed up the minis and made it... They basically switched it to. It's like, ooh, why did you do this, Arena Net? So in the end, I'm just disappointed with uh, Winter's Day in, overall. I kind of figured I would be, since I didn't know how they would be able to get make a Christmas event that 
is as cool as the Halloween event was. That had a nice story, it was structured, and it was really nice. I think the Mad King storyline was really well done. And then now we have this, and like I said, I'm just disappointed. But I think you guys have heard enough of my complaining for one day, really. I'll be doing one, maybe two more videos for this. I will be doing the Winter Wonderland Jumping Puzzle, since that's that's my thing. And then I will also possibly doing be doing some Choir Bell stuff, if I can get one of the damn things. Ugh, 78 gold, 78 gold, 78 gold, holy crap! Uh, I'll see you guys next time.